little stupid skullish action, my daddy. We're gonna do a, a wrist lock, throw, takedown. This is all, there's three ways we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it from a grab and a guy does this, where he does this, okay? There's other things I can do and other things I teach, but because of time, we're gonna do three entries into the same thing. So he's doing this, okay? Or the guy's just doing this. So the first one's like this or like this with a grab. The other one's just he's doing this. So let's start with that. Give me the finger point. I hate this when I'm bouncing. Dude, don't be pointing your finger at me. I hate it. But now he starts doing this. I'm like, now it's a physical threat because you got a finger down, you dirty hand, you're gonna affect my eyeball, scratch my cornea. So I snatch a guy at this point. So he starts doing this. I'm like, don't be pointing at me. I hate it. So I just grip. Just throw it, snatch it, thumb here. Now I mirror the grip, thumb to thumb. Don't try the Akikai BS. We're sweaty, we're strong, just double up here. Now, I got a relationship between his hand, his elbow, and his shoulder. Just like a leg lock, people in the old days just focused on the ankle or the heel hook. No, a leg lock is ankle, knee control, hip control. And guys still aren't understanding the hip control part unless you're with Donovan. You gotta attack, the, it's, the joints are three. The arm's the same way, wrist, elbow, shoulder. Okay, so once I get here, I can either take him back way, back way, back way, I have to get him up on his foot. I'm just gonna extend him out and take him down. For sport, I go to that arm bar right away, I'm very good at it. On the street, we're gonna go knee on chest, double knee ride. As you see a lot of stuff when I actually go, I get the guy sideways. Okay, so if he starts eating your hand, whatever, starts doing this, go, dude, get your finger on my face, man. What's your problem? Whoa, boom. Okay, I'm gonna take him down. And I can control him here. Now, what do I do from here? A lot of things. I could wrist lock him right here in a gooseneck. I can put that in my armpit for control and hammer fist him, cover his mouth, pick his nose, poke his eyes out, pull up on the head, choke him a little bit with some pressure. Oh, I got an elbow breaker there. Let's see if he rolls it, if he rolls it to get out of there. Oh, so you did that? I, can, I got the Udi Grammy from the other side. You got to understand how the joints work, sir. Give me the other finger. So he's pointing, dude, keep the man back up, man. I want to trouble. Whoop. Snatch it. Rotate and meet. Mirror. Point thumb to thumb. Maybe I take him this way this time. But I'm separating, I'm keeping the elbow in and the shoulder, and I'm separating my head. I can come here, and I can figure four gooseneck in here. I can be more this way. I can transition here, gooseneck here, put it in the armpit, straight on right there. I can push that face back, chin choke there. I can grab his meat here, I can hit him in the nuts, whatever I need to do. Okay, but I'm in a nice awareness 360 uh, position. Okay, now he goes with the grab and threatening or grabbing the finger. Usually, as soon as they grab me, I go. Okay, if it looks like it's a punch, I'll do something else, like palm strike on the inside gate. That thumb goes in the eye. This is up high, so if he does throw this punch, I get this. Okay, and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the hand that grabs it. So I wasn't expecting the grab. Dude, I thought I thought he grabbed me. I'm gonna go right away. So if it's a punch, if it's cocked, I'm gonna hit. And it's really gonna be a sideways palm strike, and that thumb's gonna go in the eye for training, go up high on the forehead. Or if it's a point. I'm gonna go in on the stroke notch. So I'm gonna take this wrist lock, my thumb's broken right now, it's a little hard. Take this wrist lock and go in and down at the same time. Okay. Let me, someone else feel it. 